is a little bit more of a jam, so we're gonna have time in between each song. So feel free to talk, hang around. We're gonna have a lot of transitions here. So hang tight. It's very near and dear to all of our hearts. We've never actually performed it live in front of people. Yeah, Oscar's never even played it, so we'll see how this goes. Um, it's called Concerto in the Grass. It was the first song we ever wrote before we were even called the Basement Folk. So it's a, a little, a little uh, simple, but we like it. So. Exactly a year ago was when it was written, Lance's Town. On this day. Two years ago? Two years ago. Two years ago. <laughs> Andrew can't keep track of time, it's fine.
Testing one, two, three. Let's rock and roll!
it's dad's mandolin. Excuse me. started here I think. This one is called Grey Future for the Seed written by Lance Brown. difficulties, but that was a great future. Advertisement that the CDs contain little to no technical difficulties, and you should buy one. For five dollars only, with a free sticker included. Yeah! Yeah! song we're going to be doing. It's a little bit of a departure from the jazzy jam, no, non-jazzy jams, the psychedelic jams we've been doing, rock and roll. 
Uh, it's something jazzy. It's a piano piece Lance wrote, I guess, almost two years ago. And then uh, he showed me the beautiful music, and I wrote a song. And I set out to write the most cheesy love song ever written. And I don't think we succeeded, but we came pretty close. So this is called Lucinda Rose. I made my guitar after. Who's the piano? Who's the piano? A little bit.
if that doesn't put you to sleep, I don't know what will. This is the title track from the album. It's going to be called Ledders from the Basement. It's one of our favorite little folk jams, except Kate, he hates it, but we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> because it has the lyrics in the liner. Why would I? Yeah. yeah. Only five dollars. <laughs> nice try. You can just shameless. Shameless plug. At least there's some of your stuff. Yeah. yeah. Oh, bud. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
church yet.
next one is one of my personal favorites. The music originated, and some of the lyrics originated from a couple years ago, right? Is it Here your favorite because you wrote it? Yes, it's my favorite because I wrote it. Lame. Um, and it was originally a Christmas song, uh, weirdly about like King Wenceslas, but it was a Western. I, it was very strange. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, anyway, and uh, so then I liked the music so much I kept playing it, but I didn't feel like writing a, playing a Christmas song in the middle of spring, so... I uh, rewrote the lyrics and I like it, so we're going to play it.
being built. Could you make sure this one is up enough? Thank you. Thanks. Where'd you get that CD, Isaac? Oh, right over there. Five dollars, baby. Let's see where they credited my photos I took in this room. Hey, where's Ezra? I can let's sign my first. Where's Ezra been? I don't know. Should be here, you know. This is, yeah. Sagebrush and uh, Oscar wrote the um, the music, so it's quite special. Woo! And, um, yeah! and he, we, um, Lance, myself, and Oscar did the lyrics for this, so it's very beatnik. Actually, I'm going to go get poetry. my beret. I'm going to be back. <laughs> Thank you. 
is the sky as the thunder rolls above. The dirt smells of reprieve, but falters, an olive branch falling from a dove green, but tainted. With the background of turmoiled sky, she need only reach to the ground and lapse this momentary high.
<laughs> what did I forget? So, so one time, uh, Come on, John. Get backstage. Devil's lettuce. Devil's lettuce. Ruby Brothers. <laughs> This is a favorite of mine. It was, um, I was dedicated to Ezra Mayhew because he came up with the concept for it. And uh, we ran with it. It's called Vague Resistors. We're gonna play it for you. Oh, we have the quote, get, get, it's on the gray future. We're gonna read you a little quote. It's uh, very interesting and fascinating. I'm sure you'll enjoy it a lot. Really what it is, is Lance was reading through a textbook Piece of literature is what he wants to say. I don't know what that means, but um, let's see, yeah, it was about a year ago, and it, it was this whole quote where I I had written this song called Vague Resistors, right? And that that just kind of came to me to describe the concept that I was talking about in the song, but I'd never heard that as an actual like term applied to things. But then he came across it in literature about something or other. Um, and so I'm going to read you the quote because I think it's, it's rather <coughs> fortuitous and it's talking about what we talk about in the song, kind of. And this is the extended cut, so again, if you uh, buy our CD, then you know you can you can listen to the extended cut. And uh, but we're not going to play the extended cut. What? Don't have two I'm guitars. going to be able okay. to play that. Uh, one sees that this antagonistic temper must be much relieved by finding a particular object, and that its worst moments must be those where the, the, the mood is that of vague resistance, there being nothing specific to oppose. Here's vague resistors.
world it is a remedy While the brain and fire stoke Our brothers and our sisters Are the ones we've told This evening has two songs left in it. What? Um, the first one was going to be our last song at Sunny Sunday, uh, our kind of signature song. Lance and I wrote it almost two years ago, a couple of days. September 7th will be the two year anniversary. Um, I'm not going to try and explain what it's about, but it's not directly about the fires that happened then, so don't, don't get that in your head. Don't peel, pull that meaning out of it. All right. Um, and then after that, I think Lance wants to do a reprise of his 80s song yes. because we're going to try that again. But first, we're going to do Sunny Sunday.
was buying a bar And everything seemed so far away But all I